Hi, I'm Hannah Birkin Harper, Head of Industrial Design at Odori. Hi, my name is Rita Merjani. I'm the Head of Meditation, Content, and Strategy at Odori. We're bringing mindfulness home. In the past few years, um, meditation has become increasingly popular, partially due to the ease of access of our mobile apps and the plethora of scientific research that's come out really supporting the benefits of meditation practices. However, what we found is that these digital apps aren't really effective at helping us to cultivate um, a, consist a consistent habit. In fact, 85% of those that we interviewed um, said that they stopped using their meditation apps after just 12 days. And you might recollect for yourself how your experience has gone using a digital app and see if that is on par. Um, like with many practices, consistency is really the key. You won't benefit from brushing your teeth once every 20 days. So um, that's why we've built the Aduri Cushion, which you can see up here. Um, the Aduri Cushion is the first connected multi-sensory cushion for deep immersive meditation. We have tried the cushion with over 600 testers uh, in demos and pilot programs at RYU and Lululemon, WeWork. And um, our users have loved us so far. They said the cushion was sensational, that it made them want to meditate, and they could even focus in the middle of a busy hotel lobby. In 35, we kickstarted two weeks ago, and in 35 hours, we got two thirds of our Kickstarter goal. So that was off to a great start for us. Um, we have a unique hardware and content model. So we have the cushion, which is the physical product, and then we have a content subscription, um, including uh, Amazon Alexa enabled voice command. So you can just leave your phone behind. Um, so there are a bunch of benefits to having a physical product. And the first is just to create a dedicated space in your home so that it becomes part of your routine. Um, we also created a comfortable and ergonomic seat on the floor as we found that um, discomfort is a huge barrier to creating a consistent practice. Um, and then the last is that because it has these haptic motors inside, the physical product actually houses the meditation experience. Our original meditation content includes guided meditations, soundscapes, and music, um, all synced together with the haptics that live inside of your cushion. We have a variety of teachers that come from different lineages and backgrounds, so you don't have to listen to the same voice over and over and ultimately uh, come to hate the voice of your meditation app. We also use um, AI to personalize every meditator's journey. Community is a really important part of what we're building as well. Whether it's a different zip code or a different country code, you can engage with your community, meditate with your friends, um, which we all know holds us a little more accountable. We've got a rock star team, all experts in their respective fields. Um, and thus far, we've raised about 145,000 in prior rounds, part of that coming from Rough Draft Ventures, which, uh, which sits under General Catalyst. So um, we hope that you'll join us and you know, get your own cushion. Our Kickstarter is live right now. And we are also currently raising more money um, we have three angel investors on board from tech and startup fields in New York. Um, so we hope that you'll join us um, to lead in the era of human flourishing. We'll take some questions, but we're going to show you the app and the cushion um, in action. So we're just going to switch to the iPhone quickly. I just don't want to put this down. Yeah, I'll hold it. So Rita's starting up the cushion. Um, tell me when it's ready. Okay. So you can see, you can see the light on the front. Okay, and I'm starting up the app. So you can see now that the cushion is connecting to the app. And okay, we can it. check, and it says it's connected. Um, and then you can choose your meditation program. The content here 
just checking it's up. The content here um, is customized for you based on the preferences that you've set. Um, but also in this little plus sign here, you can change um, different sort of feelings. So if you're stressed or you want to focus, there's lots of different options there. Um, but for our purposes, we will do this one, which is called Believe and Receive. And once we go into it, um, there's this slider bar here. And when you move it, it uh, changes the haptic strength on the cushion. And that just sets a frame of reference for your meditation. Um, and then we can begin. And I'm going to skip to the actual meditation because we have an intro. To close your eyes. Take a deep inhale through your nose and exhale out through your nose. So we're not going to share the whole thing, but if you do want to listen to more of our content, you're welcome to try it out or, or do more listening at our table. Okay. Thanks everyone Thank you. so much. Hi, so I just have a question about the price. I think most people will wonder, you know, if they can buy a massager for $99, like, like a full back massager you put on the chair and it has different programs, they might say, what really am I getting for the $199 with a little cushion? Have you had any kind of price-based feedback or, you know, or objections? I, I've actually I've seen your Kickstarter campaign. I go around and it's, it's interesting. I think having a tangible product helps you gr ground yourself instead of just looking at your phone. But I'm just maybe a little concerned about the price. So I don't think we have had all that much pushback. I mean, one... There's a few things. One is that you know the cushion houses the haptic vibrations and it connects to your phone. So there's a lot going on in there. Um, but also, you know, we're using pretty top of the line materials. It's really comfortable. And so I think one thing is that once people are trying it, that you know, it seems worth it. And, and I mean, I th I think for the materials that we're using, I, I guess I should say we have not had much pushback on the price. And I'd echo what Hannah said and just add that the, the cushion is providing a, a meditative um, experience and there's more happening and more that I think people expect out of this experience than they would from like a back massager or a massage chair. Can you explain, can you explain a little bit more about how the haptic feedback connects to, in, to the app and what triggers the haptic feedback? Sure, so all of our content is original and paired with Haptic. So um, one of the things we're going to be doing over the course of the next 12 months is building out our content library, but we're using different um, frequencies. And for me, the closest analogy is to sound or like a singing bowl. So we're playing with different frequencies and the timing of what's being um, specifically for a guided meditation of what the meditator is being asked to do and playing with using vibration with breath practices um, as well as in coordination with the soundscapes and music. So is the AI changing the, the haptic feedback based on how well they're doing with their meditation or is it just yeah. straight to the, to the sound. Sorry, didn't clarify. So the AI comes into play um, basically to curate your, your library um, based on how you're progressing and what sort of themes you're interested in, what time of day you meditate, how long you like to meditate for. Yeah, sorry if that was confusing. Okay. <laughs> question in the back. Hello, is there like a reward system for using the system? Because a lot of people buy gym equipment for their home and they never actually use it. Thank you. I believe, so we will track progress. Um, I know some people 
have, or like many current meditation apps allow you to have your meditation streak. And I've actually read articles that competitive meditators will play their meditation while they're doing something else so they don't break their streak. Um, we have, I, I think if you've ever seen those beautifully um, round stones that stack on top of the other, we have an image that looks like a jagged pile of, ro of rocks that over time as you continue to meditate and refine your practice, it starts to become more organized. So that's a visual that we're playing with, but there's no, there's no reward system unless you, you know, want to have a chocolate chip cookie every time you meditate or something like that. <laughs> though you can, you can track your progress though. Yes, you so, can track your progress. So there is that, unlike a piece of gym equipment that doesn't tell you whether you've used it or not, there is, you know, feedback from the app. And there, there's space within the community aspect of the platform as well. So if you're meditating with a group and there's, um, you, if there's more than two people, there's a designated like meditation leader that will essentially open the meditation for everyone to join. So if that's something that your group wants to play with, um, there will be space within there just using the progress. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Great. One last question. Do the cushions, do they link together uh, as part of a group? Yes, they can. So that's, um, we're, there's going to be a community aspect called circle. So you can link together a bunch of cushions and meditate, you know, with your sister in London or a group of friends, which also helps with accountability. Over time, as we have cushions in more, um, in more like corporate settings or uh, communal work settings or even for a special event, that will be um, an added feature. So for example, everyone in here, say we were with a group of 10 or 20 people, would have a cushion and it, they could all be synced together. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.